What's up, Sailor Guardians? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel, all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how to's. Today is part three of my pin hauling of 2022 series, where I show you 100 pins per video and give you some pro tips about how I was able to access all of these pins and how I ended up becoming a pin collector, like a serious pin collector. <laughs> At the end of this series, I will be organizing several of these pins into pin boards, probably decluttering some of them because I'm sure not all of these are going to be able to fit onto my wall because <laughs> I kind of went crazy with purchasing pins. I, I probably have about 500. So today I'm on like pins 200 to 300. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you have never been to my channel before, definitely check out the previous part one and part two of this series. I will create an entire playlist so you can easily find those videos. If you are interested in any of these creators, I do link down below to them. Also, if you enjoy purchasing items from other small businesses, whether that be creations like pins or maybe fashion or home decor, whatever it might be. There are plenty of people who are very much inspired to create their own crafts inspired by Sailor Moon. So definitely check them out. I have a ton of videos on my channel, which are called the Artist Alley videos. That's something that I created when I first started up this channel. So definitely check out those videos because I love being able to support other small businesses with my platform here on YouTube and on Instagram. All right, let's go ahead and get started with all of these pins that I have sitting in front of me because there's so many pretty ones. I'll start over on this side up in the corner with this one from Pin Expedition Co. So this beautiful pin is by Pin Expedition. It's the only pin by this creator that I own, and it is a beautiful one of Usagi with these gorgeous florals all around her. And I love the imprinting done on the border around her. It's just a very, very pretty piece. This one is the second in a collection or a series that I have been able to find called Twin Bear Pins. This one is silver and it has this stained glass effect on the moon all around Sailor Moon. And she's in her super uniform, which I love. Moving on from there, we have a whole series of pins that are made by one creator under a few different brandings, depending on the artist. So first up we have this one, which was created by Yesterday's Pins. And I love this design. It is so cute. I love the colors that she chose for this pin. I think she did just a wonderful job. It's very small, but there's so much detail going on in this pin and it's very unique. This one is by Strawberry Milk Pins, another really adorable one. I love the cityscape background. I always love cityscapes in the background and I love the screen printing that happened on this one because it looks super, super cute and Sailor Mars looks awesome. These ones are by Fantasy Pen Garden. You can actually find her on Etsy. This one of Sailor Galaxia looks so incredibly gorgeous and is one of my favorite of Galaxia. The back stamp on here is really pretty too. So Fantasy Pen Garden did a wonderful job on this beautiful piece. These three are also by Fantasy Pen Garden and they are the Kimono series. So of course we have Princess Serenity or Usagi, there's a teeny tiny little gemstone on her moonstick, which I thought was so cool. What, what a nice little feature. What a nice little detail. And these are very thick metals, so they're actually pretty heavy, even though they're pretty small. So that's two variants. And I also have the one of Amy or Sailor Mercury in a kimono. It's really pretty. This one is so cute and so tiny, this little itty bitty pin. The background on here with the glitter is what sold it for me. I love the sparkly multicolored glitter. This creator also made this beautiful pin of Sailor Moon. This is a pin on pin, a pop. And we have another Galaxia pin. So this one is of Galaxia with a teeny tiny little gemstone in her bracelet. And she's sitting on what looks like a multicolored galaxy behind her. I also have a similar one of Sailor Mercury with Mercury behind her, the planet, as well as some florals. This Cosmos pin is one of my very first Cosmos pins that I was able to collect. Really like how fashionable she looks. And I love the art that goes into this pin. Again, another little gemstone. It's definitely a trend for Fantasy Pen Garden. Here we have one of Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion or Tuxedo Mask. Looks beautiful. And last for Fantasy Pen Garden, I do have this series, which I think is called the Seasons Pins. We have Sailor Mercury sitting in front of Mount Fuji. Then I have Sailor Mars. It's interesting that this one 
we have Sailor Mercury in her Fuku, and then this one we have Sailor Mars, but she's in her Shrine Maiden outfit. Alternatively, we have these three girls in their school uniforms. So we have Usagi in the spring season with a bunch of cherry blossoms around her, and I believe that is the Tokyo Sky Tower behind her. We have Minako, and it looks like she's going shopping in the Shinjuku district. <laughs> so cute. And we have Minako, and she's sitting in this beautiful Japanese garden. Those are so cute, I love them. This gorgeous pin of Luna is by Lady Moon Buns. Lady Moon Buns sent this over to me as a part of a trade, and oh my goodness, she is absolutely gorgeous. I love her so much. I love the gradient in the clouds, and I love the little stars that are in her skirt, and the fact that she's on this crescent moon and floral swing, it's just so pretty. It's so detailed, very feminine, very girly, and I just love that aesthetic. Not to mention those colors. I mean, in case that's not obvious. <laughs> these next ones are by Yo-Yo's Alley. So Yo-Yo makes all these really cute pins of Sailor Moon characters, starting with Chibiusa. This pin of Chibiusa looks so cute. I really like this kind of different artistic inspiration. Like her eyes are super pretty in this pin. I also have these four seasonal pins. We have Sailor Mars. Love that she's wearing some florals. Then we have Sailor Jupiter. Sorry, my pins are a little dusty. I need to dust everything. <laughs> so this is more of a fall design. We have Sailor Moon with a bunch of petals around her. Really pretty. And Sailor Mercury with a winter design. Love that there's snowflakes around her as well as these winter florals. Really pretty. Yo-Yo also has this castle collection and this one of Black Lady is one of my favorites. It's so cool and I just love how like beautifully green, like emerald green this background is. It's a really gorgeous pin and this is one of my favorites because it really highlights how beautiful Black Lady is from the anime, from the original anime. Her eyes look just like they do in the classic anime. I also have these three pop pins, pin on pin pins from Yo-Yo's Alley. These are so pretty. We have Sailor Saturn, Sailor Neptune, and Sailor Pluto. I don't have Sailor Uranus, and I don't have the inner Sailor Guardians, but I do have these three, and I think they look so cool. It's so rare to get pins of the outer Sailor Guardian, so whenever I do see them, I'm like, oh, I need it. And lastly from Yo-Yo is one that I had traded for. This one was so hard to find, and somebody did trade with me for it. I'm so happy to have it in my collection now. This is one of my favorite slightly older pins of Sailor Moon. There's even a little pearl in her moon stick right there. Very pretty. All right, next I'll show you this one. So I think I've mentioned previously one of these pins before, but this one is by Pins, yeah, Pins with Ivy. This is a really cute black lady pin. This is definitely going in my Halloween collection. I love the glitter. These two are by a creator called Drannycorn. Drannycorn? Not sure exactly how to say their name, but these two pins are really big. They're like dinner plate size pins. Very, very beautiful. I really like their art and I really like to be able to own these pins. Drainy Corn has a pretty long pre-order process, so I tend to choose to order these when they're in hand as opposed to uh, pre-orders. Uh, these two, they took a little while to ship in hand, but once they got here, I was super, super happy to see them in person. They are absolutely gorgeous. Look at the glitter in her dress. It's done so well. Prince Endymion looks so handsome. I love his jawline. Like, wow, he looks so handsome. Even this pastel version, they just look so beautiful. Both of these variants are gorgeous pieces and I just could not choose between the two of them. So I have both. Also, I wanted to mention the back stamp on these are so awesome. This is like the best back stamp that I've seen by Dranicorn again. We have the little music boxes down at the bottom and then we have Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion. It looks like they're from the classic anime outro for the first season, just so so beautiful. I really like these pins. Okay, this is a new creator for my channel named Aimai. Aimai has created some really cute pins. I'm super excited to be able to start supporting them. These two are so pretty. We have Sailor Moon, Super Sailor Moon, and we have Princess Serenity on the moon stick. I really like the style of both of these pins. They're so cute. I also got this very cute one of Princess Serenity, and she has wings. I love the wings. I love the colors. 
I love the gradient, it's so cool, and the screen printing is done really well on this one. And the last one for Aimai is this really beautiful one of like a battle scar Sailor Saturn with petals behind her. The gradient of dark blue down to light blue behind her in the background is done really well. I love the, I think this is called Sandblast happening in her ribbon. It's very beautiful. It kind of gives some depth and dimension to her ribbons around her. It's a really nice effect. I'm about halfway done with the pins for this episode. I wanted to show you one of my favorite creators, somebody who really got me started in my pin collecting journey and someone who has supported this channel for a very long time. So these pins are by Disney Rye. Rye has been supporting my collecting journey for such a long time and I really, really love all these pins that he creates. This is the first one I wanted to share with you today. This one features it's the Sailor Moon doll, like the classic Sailor Moon doll, the little play doll in her box. And it's so cute. I love this pin, it's adorable. I actually posted this on Instagram and a ton of people were like, oh my God, I love that pin, it's so cute. So yeah, this is the pin, it's adorable. It's definitely based off the vintage classic Sailor Moon doll that came in a Japanese box from Japan from the 90s. So I just love how he created that into a pin. It's so adorable. Rai has also been creating these really beautiful villain pins. I missed most of these when they were originally available. So I did purchase some of these aftermarket uh, from secondhand uh, collectors. So here we have Queen Beryl, then we have Nehalenia and Black Lady, and they all look really, really nice. Those will go on my villain board for sure. Here we have a very handsome tuxedo mask looking so good and so suave. I love it. This is a variant of the Black Lady pin in all pink. She's super cute. You've seen a similar one of this one in the past, but this is a new variant of his classic Sailor Moon pin. This one has glitter and her coloring is a little bit different. So I'm so excited that I own this variant of the classic Sailor Moon pin by Disney Rye. And we also have this beautiful one of Sailor V. I'm finding through my collecting journey that I think, oh, I only have a few pins of this one character like Sailor V. And then, and then I start sorting them by character. And I realize I have several of that character and I'm like, ooh, do I wanna collect all of these characters? Because that's a lot of pins or should I just focus on one specific character? So that's gonna be a part of my process after I get through all of these is organizing them into characters and figuring out which ones I should declutter and which ones I should keep. Ah, but they're all so beautiful. It's gonna be really hard to choose. I know that they're not all gonna fit on my wall, so it's gonna be a process, that's for sure. Okay, also from Disney Rye is this beautiful umbrella series. So here we have a gorgeous one of Uranus and Neptune, Haruka and Michiru. And I love that we have a regular variant and then we also have this pride variant, which is so perfect for them. I love the rainbow umbrella. It's so cute, so cute. So I'm happy that I own both of these variants. I also have Sailor Chibi Moon over here, little Chibi Yusa. She's so adorable. And last for this pile, but I'm not done yet for this episode, is Hotaru, Amy, and Setsuna. And each of them has an umbrella that matches their color aesthetic. They are so pretty and I love this very unique design. It's so cute. So those are from Disney Rye, one of my oldest supporters in the pin community. So thank you for Ryan for sending these over to me. I love them and I'm so excited to see what's in your future. All right, moving on, I have the last 50 or so pins for this episode. First off, I wanted to show you these beautiful pair of pins by the Reclusive Pin Maker, I believe their name is. And I feel like I was just in the right place at the right time when these dropped because I was able to snag both variants. So here I have a Luna pin, which features some beautiful art of Luna in front of a gorgeous moon. We also have this one. You can definitely see this gorgeous gradient detailing with some doilies in the background screen printed and this sandblast moon. I love this pin of Luna. These two are some of my favorites of Luna uh, from my entire collection. So I absolutely adore them. I think they're beautiful. I would love to see this creator make more in this art style because they are just beautiful. These two are a couple of pins by Slayer Sensations, who I believe they have an Etsy page. I think I purchased these on Etsy and they are absolutely cute. I love that we have some pin art of Usagi and her casual wear. 
instead of her in her school uniform or her Sailor Senshi Fuku. So this is kind of a first and I'm digging it. I like having some casual wear pins. I'll have to look up the creator of this one because there is no back stamp with their name on it and I don't remember who made this one, but it's a really pretty attack pin with the inner Sailor Guardians and then we have Princess Serenity in front of them. Next is a series of three different variants from Gilded Stardust Pins. These are of Super Sailor Moon. Each of them, I feel like each of them has really wonderful screen printing detail really pretty glitter effects. And I love that each one has kind of a different color scheme about them. So I couldn't choose just one. I ended up with all three. <laughs> Love Struck Designs is a new pin maker that I haven't shown you before on this channel, but now I have this really cute collection called Sweet Serenity. This is a collection of really gorgeous art. Look at their eyes. Their eyes are so unique. The screen printing detail that goes into each of these Sweet Serenity series pins is just beautiful. And I love that each of them has their own specific butterfly that kind of matches their aesthetic and their color scheme. So here we have Princess Hotaru, Princess Saturn. I have the Jupiter one. I have one for Sailor Mars with her fiery butterfly next to her. Here's one of Sailor Mercury, and they actually provided a business card so you can kind of see how the art was turned into a pin. Pins in art are always going to vary a little bit, but man, they did such a great job of bringing in that art through the screen printing process. Really beautiful. And last for the Sweet Serenity series, I have Princess Serenity, and she looks so pretty. These two are from a series called I Love You to the Moon and Back. So I have Luna and Sailor Moon from this series. So both of them have similar poses where they're doing the little heart shape with their hands and they both have a stained glass background. I was also able to snag this really cute love letter black lady pin. I really like the color choices that Love Struck Designs chose for this pin. And lastly for Love Struck Designs, I have this really pretty kimono pin of Usagi. I love it. She's so cute. Okay, who's next? How about the one sitting right in front of me? Pretty Princess Pins has made these very cute pins of Sailor Moon's disguises. So y'all remember the disguise pin that she used in like the first season and then barely at all after that, except for like this, this one when she went to Mugen Academy. So here we have Usagi as a nurse, Usagi in her flight attendant uniform. Then we have Usagi as a Mugen Academy student and we have her in her princess dress from the first season. Each of these are very cute. Even though they're small pins, they have a lot of detail. I love that she includes some shadowing in her art, and we also have a lot of detail going into her eyes. Pretty Princess Pins also created this entire series of transformation pins, and these are so cool. They're fully screen printed, so if you, if you don't like a lot of screen printing, you probably wouldn't like these, but I think they look awesome. I think they look so cool. So here's the Inner Sailor Guardians going into their transformation sequences. Each of them looks so dang cool. They're so pretty and it's a good print quality. Then we have Sailor Moon going into her transformation sequence with her ribbons around her and Sailor Chibi Moon. I also recently snagged the four outer guardians in their transformations. So we have Sailor Neptune, Sailor Uranus, Sailor Pluto. She's a big one. And she even has Sailor Saturn transforming. Very cool. I have three more creators for this pin haul episode in my series for Artist Alley. The first one is Olympus Pins. So Olympus Pins made this duo of pins of Sailor Mars and they both look so cute. I just love this art style. It's so adorable and I love her hair, how thick it looks. These three are definitely grails for me because I really like traditional Japanese art. So first I have a pair of pins of Black Lady. We have a pink background and the dark blue background. Both of these are really gorgeous pins. One thing I noticed on these is that her skin tone's a little different. I don't know why. I'm very curious to know why, but I like the skin tone on this one because it's a little bit more alive. This one, she looks a little more gray. Then we have Usagi. Usagi in a kimono. And this is the same size pin, but it features, of course, different art. 
specifically of Usagi. Olympus pins made several different versions, different variants of these two pins. I have one pin from Primrose Pins. Primrose makes some really adorable pins and I love this one of Sailor Mars. She just looks so cool. And last for this episode, definitely not least and not the last one out of my entire pin haul because I have two more one or two more episodes after this one, is Wonderful Things Co. Now, I don't remember if I've shown you Wonderful Things Co. before, but they've been making pins for quite some time, and I have several, several of their pins to share with you today. This is one of my bigger collections because I really like their art style. I still have a lot of these in the wrapper. So the first couple that I have are the Devotion series. We have a Princess Serenity and a Prince Endymion matching set and both of them look so cute and so romantic and I love them. They look adorable. They're gonna look great on a pin board of these two. I also snagged this Royalty Medallions pin which features Sailor Moon in three different versions of her. Princess Serenity, Usagi in her school uniform, and Super Sailor Moon. This Princess Serenity pin where she's like battle Serenity with a sword is so freaking cool. I love that she has those beautiful, gorgeous, big wings behind her. Just a beautiful pin throughout and so big. It's a huge pin. And the remaining ones from Wonderful Things Co. are all from the same series. These are all the Crescent Moon series. I believe that's what they're called. So here we have Princess Serenity with white hair. We have Super Sailor Moon on a pink Crescent Moon. There are two variants of each of these and I always chose the colorful variant for each of these. So this one has the pink crescent moon behind her. I was able to pick up Prince Endymion on a gray moon. This one of Black Lady is one of my favorite Black Lady pins. She looks so cool and there's tons of glitter in her dress. It looks really, really nice. And then I have the inner Sailor Guardians. So first I have Sailor Mars on a red moon, Sailor Mercury on a blue moon, Sailor Jupiter on a pink moon, and lastly is Sailor Venus on a dark blue moon or a royal blue moon. This one matches her ribbon. So that is all of my pins for part three of my 2022 pin hauling video. Let me know if you have any questions. Definitely watch the first two videos, which I will link to I think up here and here, I have an entire playlist of Artist Alley videos, and I'm also doing a separate playlist of just the pin videos. So if you're just interested in pinning for Sailor Moon, then you can check out these videos to find some creators and figure out what your aesthetic is. I tend to collect a lot, and I definitely don't expect everybody else to collect this many pins. It's, it's just me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Sailor Snubs, and I will see you on part four. Ciao!